Good morning, folks. The earth-facing quiet is standing out there with the protesters with a grand solar minimum sign. He's new to this rally stuff. You're seeing a lot of umbral magnetic field loops here resulting from an abundance of sunspots, but will it offer us anything of note today? Coming to spaceweathernews.com? No, not really. We're very calm right now on the earth-facing disk. Most of the movement is on the left at the bright area turning in near the equator. That's happening above the large sunspot you can see here. It is simple, however, and the other spots have all faded under the Earth influence, resulting in an X-ray flux showing us a lack of significant solar flares. Solar wind up next. We're seeing above average streams from the northern coronal hole, but they are somewhat stabilized, so it would take another perturbation or lasting reverberations to see more. We do expect such streams to come, and the equatorial portion of the coronal hole departing to the right may offer such a stream today. If not, the next coronal holes are coming in from the left, north, and south. Southern one is in the lead and hit earth-facing center longitudes overnight. Rough Earth Award of the Day comes down under over at New Zealand. Top quakes of the day striking the area there. Not much to break nearby, luckily. They also had some severe weather a bit west in southern Australia. Strong storms are finally moving on after lashing the region. High pressure over much of that area is pushing the system along. South Island of New Zealand and northeast parts of Australia getting it in the coming hours. Top stories include the rotation of an active region related to flare production. Just like how rotation in a cyclone is related to lightning and terrestrial gamma production. Earth spot similarities jump out at you. We've also got news out of Paris. The faults near Istanbul are locked and not moving much, meaning the pressure is building up and could release, but of course they can't say when. From daydreams to rubbing one's eyes to make sure you're actually seeing clearly, and whether that's because of the sisters over the water, the questionable human behavior in the face of the weather, or just the rest of this, Florida holding a water spout rally. Even the weather likes to protest. Anyway, I'm expecting some bad weather in the United States again tonight. The lows convergence cuts back through the central states, and tonight we'll have storms popping and unleashing a lot of energy. Next, we're coming to the Indian Ocean, where a system may develop to a cyclone, but even if it doesn't, it is delivering tons of rain to the north from India across and up through China. Little low in the middle of Europe, creating an alert in the central nations and moving to the northeast. Expect major flooding in these areas. Please pay attention, folks. We are less than nine months away from observing the frontier, round three. If you go to suspiciousobservers.org, the button to get to the event page is over on the right. We've got the speakers, details about the event, and a tentative schedule up for you to check out. Registration is open, and we hope you can see your way out there with the observers when we descend upon the high desert of the U.S. Southwest. Going to be a lot of fun. Also, folks, for the podcast and deeper look episodes we're always discussing, plus a lot more, it's all waiting for you when you become a member. 99% of YouTube comments we see are answered already over there. We've got shots of our star to close. It is a bit before 5 a.m. on the east coast of the United States. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.